Hello everyone, welcome back to another video where you're basically going to be seeing me and Jean discuss the recent Sea Devils news, Legends of Sea Devils news I should say, on the podcast Wild Endeavour. If you haven't already subscribed to the podcast, please do so, we're trying to get to 300 subscribers as soon as possible, and if you could click that subscribe button, I'd be very grateful. Link will be in the description to the full episode, but enjoy the clip. We've had a little bit of new, I guess, material. Granted, it is a very small mm-hmm. amount of Legend of the Sea Devils, um, the upcoming episode coming out. We assume Easter. Uh, they we did still no, no, no. They did confirm date. the date. I swear it was um. It, 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 it oh is no, they did. It, it, BBC yeah. America, BBC mm-hmm. America did, didn't they? Yeah, no. So it was confirmed, but like the fact we still have another official. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I, I do find the whole date thing weird. Like, why don't they give us official dates? I don't know. Yeah, like I get because that I gives nothing. Away. Yeah, that details. gives nothing away. Just, yeah, you know, like there's literally no benefit to here. keeping. Yeah. Yeah, there's no benefit, there's no perceivable benefit to keeping the upload, not upload, release date, um, secret, I'm, I'm too used to YouTube <laughs> speak. Um, but yeah, like, we've had a bit of bit of new footage, basically, SFX Magazine comes out, I believe, today, the time we're recording, there's probably yesterday, for yeah. um, those of you watching, if you're watching on the first day, but um, basically, one of the images contains, I'll put it up on screen for those of you who are watching the podcast, um, Jerry Whitaker and Randy Gill, um, presumably on the Chinese pirate spaceship. Uh, one of which uh, spaceship? They both seem to be hiding behind a barrel. Uh, do you, yeah. Not spaceship, sorry, pirate ship. Force of habit. Pirate ship. Um, Yaz uh, seems to be hiding behind a barrel. Uh, the Doctor is holding onto her shoulders. This post, this picture, right? It seems to be trying to elude to Thasmin mm. a bit more without directly this is, doing This is it, the right? only picture I've just... seen, by the way, so if there's any more, I have not seen it. This is the only pic I've there's seen one more from this episode. I'll send you. It's very blurry, okay. but um, I st- this, for some reason I still can't get a decent image Yeah, there might be better pics now that the thing's out. So you... Yeah, well that's what I thought, but there still doesn't seem to be anyone releasing high quality ones, mm. but um, there's this one, which... Very, if you look very, very close, well, I say very, very, it's not like super obscure, but like you can kind of tell it's been blurred. But, um, if you look, oh, here, yeah, oh, John, yeah, yeah, I did um, see that, yeah, yeah, these are the two. So, one of them is, as I said, Jody, like behind a barrel, they seem to be trying to go for the whole Thasmin thing of, of them getting closer, like, I guess, I d- yeah, yeah, exactly. That's a bit of a stretch it. there, but yeah, like they probably will address. You know, expand a bit on that. I, I definitely think they're trying to tease that side of the community a bit, right? With 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 thirteen. Maybe I mean, to me, to me, that picture kind of stuff. came across as no different to the set photos they released from like the episode. Rolls I mean, out. I'd agree, right? But like. I, yeah, Twitter time, did was like for that I, day when they dropped like Thasman, Thasman, Thasman. I was like, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, listen, you know, I. Personally, the only reason I'm bringing it up, not necessarily because I can see it in the picture, but more so just because other people yeah. are saying, oh, mm-hmm. look, could, could be a hint towards more that. I think it's definitely going to be addressed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. Well, well, yeah, well, yeah because I what... feel like if they don't address it, it would be really odd. It would be really strange to have yeah. that and evil the Daleks and then just completely drop it. Especially now, because what I will say about Legend of the Sea Devils, right, it is now, we're, hen- we're entering penultimate episode yeah. time. Like, they have to start bringing in some more meat to certain things, and the Thasmin thing is probably one of the major. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I I think it's going to be a relatively self-contained affair. Yeah, same. Right? I feel but... like it'll either be brought up at the beginning of the episode or the end of the episode, and it will just be like, or like in the middle, there'll be like a random bit where it's like character scene, yeah, and yeah. then time for plot. You know, that's what will happen. Um. So I. But yeah, like. Um. The second, oh yeah, no, I was going to say that I have not like looking at the second image now. Um, you were speaking to me about her having a new costume, and I was not aware of it. But yeah, mm. t- looking at the image, it's very apparent that yeah, she is wearing something. Yeah, different. she does. I'll I'll see if I can put the other image in the chat for you. Mm. Well, so she's almost um, wearing like, just, a purpley a... kind of shirt with little uh, red marks on it. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've definitely seen the picture of them hiding behind the barrel. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just putting it there just for, for oh, yeah, yeah, my yeah. own benefit. Um, but yeah, like, 
it's not I will say nice to see her in a different costume that isn't the same mm-hmm. one. Like I think the closest we got to that before this was well, I guess we had Spyfall. Yeah, true. Yeah, it was a f- completely, completely different. You see, I can't tell but... is she is she wearing pirate like attire or is this like is she just going to rock up with a new I think costume? It, it does look quite ch- chi- like Chinese type. Yeah, yeah, I see. That. Like it looks like sort of traditional wear for that. You see, period, yeah, I, I like guess. that. I do like it when they go to the time period and they do. Yeah, I that. like it when yeah. they when they go period specific for costumes. I quite like that. So that's cool. Um, I'll say like. Obviously, we see a bit of the ship's design there. Yeah. Look quite mm-hmm. cool. Obviously, inspired by the period and inspired by the you know the place of the world they're in. I I am genuinely like the the thing is with the Chimera I do quite like as a concept is when they explore more sort of unknown parts yeah, of I history. Agree with that. And I would I definitely say like Chinese pirates is not a part of history. Yeah, I'm yeah, because aware mm-hmm. of. Um, obviously, I, I'm i saying Chinese Pirates, there probably is like a proper name for the pirates, but I just don't no, know, I'm not what, called, you know yeah, what they are. I mean, they are like I'm focusing on like a particular research. like famous figure, like, but I'm not 100% sure of yeah. who she was. Yeah, but I think they're going to go into that. Yeah, but that I, th- I think that's what's good the episode, about um, the Chibnall era, at least like conceptually, is that it does educate people. Yeah, I'd agree. Yeah, in that respect. I, I, also, I like I, that it goes for more. Uh, yeah, I also, uh, yeah, I also just like like yeah. Figures. I also just like that we are like branching out. Like it's not all just British history because, well, it wouldn't be, you know. Well, the thing is, like the the history they tend to go for in Doctor Who, at least it's always Jim, just Victorian like, times. You're like, but it's not even just that though. It's just always characters that we all know anyway, yeah. like Queen Victoria, right, yeah. Charles Dickens. You know, people who. In Britain, we're all intimately familiar with and have an understanding of, like, how many, like, you know, book reports have you had to write on, like, Shakespeare stuff? Yeah. I say book reports, like, you know, like, essays have you written, had to write on Shakespeare? Or, you know, how many times have you covered Victorian London in, like, school? Like, you know, they're parts of history that we're all familiar mm-hmm. with. Whereas something, I guess, like, I guess, um, like, Rosa Parks, we don't, I mean, I got taught about, yeah, um, I got like, school. 19... I got like nineteen twenties and thirties America and like sort of um, in fact, the civil rights. Yeah, and stuff, I, I think I learned about rules of rules of parks and like religious studies actually. Okay, well, I mean, I did do like America around that time, but it was more broad. We did like um, obviously, I don't even know if I could say this on YouTube, but like you know, the KKK and that sort mm. of thing. Um, we covered that in history and that sort of that sort of stuff. But like, yeah, and I guess as well, like Nikola Tesla. Like I, I didn't. Yeah, know I didn't much know much about, about him Tesla yeah. before that episode, so that was cool. So yeah, I like that conceptually. I will say, like, looking more into it, they do go. They are a bit like one dimensional, I would say. But then, I guess it's more for kids, and it's got that educational value mm. to it. I think. I think it depends. So, I think some of them have really worked. I know, like a lot of people do, um, think that the strongest element from the Chibnall era is the historicals. Which I can see, I definitely yeah, see that. I do just think there are bits of them where it's like, mainly from the villain aspect, where it's like they've just kind of like implemented like, this is the monster of the episode, or this is the bad guy, yeah. and it kind of takes away a little bit, at least for me, from the actual historical event. Yeah, and I think it worked quite, I, I would say, for me, the strongest one, as in like, an actual historical, educationally, one would probably be the Nicola Tesla one for me, personally. Like... Because it's a fun Doctor Who episode, and it also taught me a bit about someone yeah. I didn't know much about. And I also thought Gurren Viznich, I think that's his name, did a pretty great job as Oh yeah, Tesla he was great. Well. I thought yeah. he did a good job. Um, and I thought, I liked how they tied the monsters into the, the message, even though, you know... I personally like, thought, I personally thought that it was just a bit babied down, because I felt like it was just... Yeah, done. no. But I find that about most of them, and I, I think that's the least... Well, not least, but I think... It definitely has that element, but I still was able to enjoy that one yeah, more yeah. than the others. Yeah, that's I don't fair. Know. It's, defi- it's, it's definitely like one of the stronger ones. It would definitely be, if it was in like the Russell era, it would be like a mid-episode, right? But because it's... But because you hate Chibnall, the like, I see it as, uh, Like, it's just, it's one of the stronger ones of this era for me, I would say. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, personally. that's fair. Yeah. Um, but no... I don't um, really have much to say yeah, on the so, um, Legends of Sea Devil stuff, because it's like... 
Like, yeah. They haven't really given us much, and we know that it's, you know, it's not really a time that I particularly know about, and we already yeah, know I'll that say, the sequels tying, are back. Yeah, tying Sea Devils into pirates in itself is a yeah. cool idea, though, mm-hmm. I will say. Like, that makes a lot of sense. I think the I think this um, episode yeah. is going to look great, like, just aesthetically. Like, yeah. The sets, like the, the actual sea level design and just costume wise, it just looks, it just all looks like it really gels well together. It just looks really nice. Yeah, I am interested to see, like, I, most the most thing I'm most excited about for this episode is just seeing how the sea devils look properly. Because, <laughs> like, obviously, we've seen clips and images of them, but like, to see them in the full episode, I want to see them in action. Uh, I think that's going to be fun. Um, yeah, like, it's an interesting episode. Um, is there anything else? I mean, like, I'll say I really like the Sea Devils design. Again, like, the costumes, they've definitely gone, like, a bit of the pirate route with some of their costumes, if you look at mm. them up close. Which, as in the actual attire that they wear. Yeah. Which I kind of like. Because um, the thing is, something interesting about, like, I guess, Sea Devils, Silurians, they've been around the world as long, if not actually longer, than, than humans have. So it makes sense that they'd kind of have their own dress sense as, like, the time periods go along, right? Like, they'd have, you know, if the, when they're in, like, pirate times, they'd have more pirate like the 70s, or... they just were, like, netting. <laughs> but that makes sense, because global warming, oh, John, yeah. and pollution is topical. No, but I genuinely, I think that's quite a cool choice. Um, yeah. I, I'm I'm interested to see what they do. I do hope there is a, a more to it than perhaps we're being led. Well, I imagine. To well, that I there assume is. going by the name Legends of the Sea Devils, that will probably be they land on a ship. Um, you know, there's this whole like legend or like mystery going on, and you know, the Sea Devils will be behind it. Wow, John, you got all that. Well, wow. no, 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 no the was... thing is, no, 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 no. I, I, I feel I'm like, joking. yeah, because in my head it is going to be a very basic premise, it's going to be a very, yeah. like, run-of-the-mill Doctor Who story, it just depends what they do with it, like, mm. conceptually, it's probably going to be, like, you know, just A, B, C, this is how we do it, it's just going to be one tried and tested like, Doctor Who formula. It is, part of me is, does struggle to get hyped for this episode, because it is kind, it does feel like... It's another Chibnall Doctor Who episode. And it it's is not co-written like a, by someone. A big episode. Is yeah. it? I didn't know that. Yeah, I can't remember her name. Do you know what I mean yeah. in the sense of the vibe is like, it's another Doctor Who, but it's like, you know, it's not like, I guess, like a foot, like a big episode. Like, the centenary I'll probably be more interested in, because that is a big deal. Like, that's the end of an era. Whereas with this, it's kind of like... Yeah, the Sea Devils are in it, and I'm looking forward to seeing them. But beyond that, it's like I, 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 in my head, cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna prefer this to the Centenary. From a quality perspective, probably because I'm, I'm almost convinced the Centenary is gonna be a bit of a mess. Yeah. Um, but like, I don't know. I feel like I do have some level of fun with Chibnall's messes, whereas when he kind of just does like more stereotypical Doctor Who episodes, I'm kind of just like, yeah, this is. All right, you know what I mean. It's like it's kind of like the difference between like Eve of the Daleks and I guess like Revolution. Hmm. Like Eve is probably a lower stakes, more um, I guess smaller scale Doctor Who story. I suppose, but but, I but the probably... reason that I'm like I'm like your favorite from like Flux was War of the Sontarans, right? And it's like mm. that was essentially a historical episode bringing back a pre-established Doctor Who True. villain, and I'm like. Okay, and also the angel one for me is another highlight from Flux, where it's like that's similar concept to this. So I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to it because I feel like it's something. It's a part of history yeah. I'm not too familiar with. It looks pretty cool. I see Devils. Always been a fan of them, you know. I feel, I feel like I all, think it's all, just all the pieces because we know so little about it. As yeah. Well. Because we know so little, it's like, yep, there's sea yeah. devils, and yep, there's pirates, and that's. Yeah, I'm about surprised it. we've went on about it like... as long as we have, to be honest. Yeah, like I have as well, but I think it's just because I haven't really spoken about it at all, really, mm. because I just haven't had a lot yeah. to say. I covered it um, at the time. That was a bit. Yeah. Well, yeah, I talked about it briefly in my. I did like an Eve of the Daleks review um, a couple of days after that came out, and I mentioned the Sea Devils and how cool they look, but I didn't have much else to say beyond cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, 
And I, I think, yeah, I, it has the potential, like, like with every Chimel episode, the premise has the potential to be great. It's just the execution, I'm always a bit like, mm, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah, like, that's my closing thought, basically. The idea of sea devils meeting pirates and there being some sort of treasure, <laughs> cool concept. Will it be good? I don't know. I hope so. I hope it'll be decent, but yeah. Shout out to Deb Iona, Simon Ashley, Steve Safaro, Shane Smith, Patrick Muson, Ree Kevin, Seb Lowndes, Jay Monroe, Preston, Hash Shandy Coot, and Human Being. If you want to become a member, feel free to do so. It really helps out. You get exclusive posts, shout outs in every video, and even your own badge and custom emojis to use.